When you say the medium is the message, you're really saying that the, the ground is the message. It's not the content. The actual ground that, of services. It's not what you say in the telephone. It's the fact that the telephone service is environmental. Privacy was almost unknown, uh, even in Shakespeare's day. It came in after that period, in the 17th, 18th centuries, and it was dependent upon uh, an architecture that uh, sealed off spaces. Uh, people didn't live in private spaces in uh, uh, earlier periods, and uh, it was with the coming of the book and uh, the need for uh, areas, in, uh, private areas in which to read and study and so on, that privacy gradually caught on as a value. I don't think privacy has quite the same meaning in our time that it used to have. We are the first post-literate generation, as it were. That, that is the, uh, we have bypassed the literate world of hardware and, and the lineal left hemisphere technology. Technology is not just a, a happenstance, and not just something that got there when nobody was noticing. And uh, so we are responsible for our technologies and the effects of our technologies. So it does point to the possibility of ecology. When you know the effects of a medium, uh, then you can take steps to shape those effects or to restrict them and so on. So listen to that whore. Listen to your father. <laughs> Busy man. Global Village is not created by the motor car or even by the airplane. It's created by instant electronic uh, information movement. The global village is at once plan as wide as the planet and as small as a little town where everybody is maliciously engaged. Opinions are like everybody assholes. Else's business. Everybody the, has uh, global one. village is a world in which uh, you don't necessarily have harmony. You have extreme Something concern that gets with everybody else's around. business. And much involved Chris, in everybody else's joint. life. It's a, a sort joint. of <laughs> <called> <laughs> <laughs> A joint!